Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and I want to talk about, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk about Bigby Presents Glory of the Giants, the latest uh, heartbeat from Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the latest source of excitement for every dungeon master and every uh, dungeon performer out there. Uh, and so this book is really special, and I, today I want to talk about the physical book. I want to talk about my purchase journey for Big B's Presents, uh, Glory of the Giants, um, and I have, I received my, uh, my Dungeon, my D&D Beyond digital access weeks ago, but I just received the physical book, and I just wanted to talk about that experience of receiving the physical book. So first of all, it would ship to, to me in a, well, in a, in a cardboard box, um, and the lower right corner was dented, right? So it looked like, so if you took the book and you dropped it from four feet, the lower right corner, the lower left corner, the lower left corner, um, had a dent on it, right? Now that's no big deal at all for me. I didn't bother returning it or I didn't, you know, send any emails to, to Hasbro saying, Hey, you know, and I bought this directly from Hasbro on D and D beyond. And I bought the digital physical bundle and that's all I do now I do not I will never I do not intend ever to buy another Dungeons and Dragons book from an FLGS as long as the um, as long as the digital physical bundle is available only on D&D Beyond I'll only be purchasing from D&D Beyond now the way they could fix this is they could give they could seal the books that that'd be a problem because uh, yeah, that would not be great because um, if they sealed the book, people couldn't look at them in the bookstore, and that, that's kind of a bummer, right? Like, but if they sealed the book, they could put a coupon inside for the digital version, right? I don't know, you know, where you know that's uh, yeah. So I received it; it was dented on the lower left corner. That was not a, even a remotely a problem for me, and the reason why is I I tear my books apart. Right? I'm very rough on my physical books. I carry them everywhere for weeks or months carry them around the house, I carry them in my backpack, you know, they get uh, Cheez-Its crumbs on them, like, I'm brutal on my books, so it was no problem at all for me. Uh, one thing I was really delighted about with Big B's Presents was, um, I was really delighted to see it was 192 pages. The other thing that really shocked me was just how different reading it on D&D and Beyond is than having the physical book. I still very much prefer the physical book. Uh, the you know, if I had to choose. The nice thing is I no longer have to choose. And to me, a D&D Canon hardback is the digital on D&D Beyond, able to get it anytime I have my, able to access it anytime my phone, I have my phone, but get the premium experience if I'm at my home or if it's in my backpack, right? That That is the best of both worlds. And that's all I do now, right? And, that, and so it was $60 for both. Um, and it was shipped to me. It was shipped in a reasonable amount of time. It wasn't late, right? And it was, and it's great. And I'm, I'm loving having the physical book. And I love that it is 192 pages. So one of the things I think is interesting about it being 192 pages is it, this is important because the standard has been 256 pages for a long time. I actually think we should cap books, and no Dungeons and Dragons book ever should be longer than 192 pages. And I would really love to see Dungeons & Dragons hardbacks lock in at 64 pages, just like we see in Spelljammer, just like we're about to see in Planescape. Uh, and then 96 pages is what we're getting in, 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 in Planescape. And these are hardback books, right? And I, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Like I really love that every book, they're like, hey, don't even think about it. This is a Dungeons & Dragons book. We don't do soft cover anymore. Soft co- Soft cover is not worthy of being put onto a Dungeon Dragons Canon hardback. I love I love that. I think that's really cool. I think that's really a great way to fulfill what a D and D Canon hardback deserves, right? So I, I really think that the 192 pages is great. I would love to see all D and D books lock in at 64, 96, 128, or 192, and I would like the 256 page. Um, books to to be retired and the reason why and I, I'll read 256 page D&D canon backs all day long but I want it to grow right and I know that the longer these books are the more we get these crusty you know privileged Ivy League um, you know degree holders right rather than people who are just people right? you know, like 
So I, I think I would really I I love Bigby the the presentation the feel of the physical book. I love that it's 192 pages. What was your experience with the physical book Bigby's uh, presents Glory of the Giants? I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.